Perfect grade. Neo Xeon MSN Zero. Oh, wait, sorry. This isn't a perfect grade. This is just a master grade. It's just in a huge flipping mass or perfect grade box. Well, folks, today this is Skaggly Bones back with another video for you. And this is the Neo Xeon, like we said, MSN 04. This is Char Zaku's mobile suit, the Sazbi version of Toki. So there was a previous master grade Sazbi. And this is the version of Toki one. The, the only problem that people kind of complained about the previous one, uh, not only box size, obviously, this thing is massive. But who cares about a large kit, right? That's what we're about when we build Gunpla is the large kits. But the one thing people complained about was some of the proportions. They just were off a little bit. Now, they were, they were kind of accurate to the cartoon, but people wanted a very realistic looking Gundam. So they wanted to see Gun Sazabi as what it would look like if it was actually mechanical. Whereas, when we see in the anime, that's not really how they look. So, the year before, the big... The big release was Master Grade New Gundam version Katoki, which had previously, the previous New Gundam had come out quite a lot, a long time before, back in early 2000s, and it was due for a re-release. So what better Gundam to come out after the New Gundam but his nemesis, Charles Sazabi. And this is it. This is the big guy. So we're going to be doing an unboxing. I just received this this a couple days ago, and we're going to actually be looking at it. And like in the previous video with the Kshatriya, this guy is a big dude. So I apologize for the size of the box, not being able to get everything in frame. Um, I am kind of pulled back about three and a half, four feet here just to get this whole box in frame. So I might have a little bit of jiggling around. I'm not able to completely, I'm kind of having to hold my camera as I do this, I can't completely have it on the table with a tripod, so the sheer size of this kit. Now, the only other kit, Master Grade kit, that has uh, the same size box is the O. And this box is a little bit smaller, it's a little bit thinner than the O, uh, but it is overall going to be a larger kit than the O. So, let's kind of take a look at the box here, we're going to lay it down. Obviously, you got this awesome version of Toki cover art. On the side, you have uh, pretty much the same cover art. And you actually on the top you're going to also have what it's from. It's from uh, Universal Century. Um, kind of tells you from the original Universal Century. Non-unicorn line. Char's counterattack. On the side you get some of the gimmicks here that you're going to have from the funnels in the back. Uh, let's see here if I can zoom in without having to move this box around right there which we will actually look at. Oh, there we go. Get to focus. So as you can see, some of this inside the frame, on the inner frame, you're going to have multicolor parts. You're going to have your black parts, your gray parts, and then your silver parts. Okay. You're going to have your pods on the backpack for your funnels. So your funnel system, kind of like New Gundam, this is really, where it really comes into play, is, is New Gundam after... Or sorry, not New Gundam, High New Gundam, after New Gundam, went to having his funnels on this backpack piece. Okay? And that's why when you go into the manga, that's really where this the whole design comes from. This is the Anaheim Electronics uh, mobile suit. And at that time, previously, Anaheim Electronics was not building suits for Xeon forces. But after Zeta Gundam, when Char was kind of, he was kind of a good guy in Zeta Gundam. You see him working for the good of everybody else. And so, eventually, Anaheim Electronics started making mobile suits for him. And they especially make this suit for him. And that's where, where what happens is, you have New Gundam, and then High New Gundam, what, uh, which is, or New Gundam and High New Gundam are both Amaro Ray's designs. So he builds New Gundam, which in turn turns into um, Shinanju, but 
before it turns into Shinanju, he kind of takes the idea from Char Zaku's backpack, and he slaps that under New Gundam, and, uh, or sorry, not Char Zaku, Char Sarazabi, and he takes it off, and he takes that idea, and he puts the fun fin funnels in that, and that's really where you get High New Gundam. So High New Gundam is basically the New Gundam mobile suit with uh, a backpack that's very similar to this. So that's what you're really getting, and it's even got the these uh, thruster uh, pods on and that's what that's what you see when you see new gun high new gundam so it just doesn't have the funnels on the top and it's got the traditional fin funnels so that's really what you're getting and that's kind of the design elements you get with this guy and the cool thing is this manual actually kind of gives you some of that information so if you go over here to this side which is a very traditional of all the version Kotoki boxes you are going to get this information about the Gundam so you're going to get specifications which is I think really awesome because you kind of can see where you get all your size from so this this height 23 meters is one meter taller and and that that's head height by the way folks that is not to the top of that fin on the top of his head that is just to the top of the head and that is one meter taller than the top of the head of New Gundam because New Gundam is a 22 meter tall mobile suit so these, these guys are big mobile suits. In fact, the total height for this guy is 25 meters in height overall. So he's a big dude. And, of course, it's, you talk about armaments here. you got your, uh, let's see, diffused mega particle cannon, beam shot rifle, beam tomahawk, beam saber, uh, shield missiles, funnels six, and a long rifle. So that's your long rifle. And that's your beam shot rifle. And your beams, your fin funnels, your shield, your beam saber, and your beam tomahawk. So that's what you're getting with this kit. Of course, unfortunately, well, fortunately, he's big enough to stand on his own. Unfortunately, you don't get an action base, which would have been kind of nice. At least an action base to hold the funnels out, kind of like New Gunnam gets. New Gunnam gets this, this nice action base. With funnels, and as you see when we unbox this guy, you're not going to get any of that. So let's get into the unboxing. I'm going to break this open here. Enough talking about the outside of the box. Oh, by the way, uh, once I get this top off, I'll show you. That's the price. Retail price is 9,000 yen on this big boy. Roughly $90. Let's get that out of the way. I do not have space on my table, so that is the box folks this is the box it is flipping huge now this wasn't right on top but I got this and we're gonna kind of look at the book a little bit as per all my other videos so when you first open it up you get a lot of information about the Sazabi and especially with the version car version Kotoki now the big difference that you're gonna notice is on the version Kotoki is you don't have that big, huge Hulkin symbol, the Neo Zeon symbol, on this. You get, I think it's Char symbol that you put on there. And uh, you got water slide decals. We'll look at those water slide decals, but I don't. You do not have the decal that you get on the original. So this, unlike the anime, is not going to have that huge Hulkin symbol on it, which. Is cool. You can actually see here. Let's see here. We can focus in on this picture here. Ooh, there we go. So you can see here. I know. I know it's a picture, but there's this the original symbol. It didn't have hardly any decals on them because it's a prototype mobile suit. It's made only for Char. Uh, and then, of course, in here you can see the progression. You have the new Gundam, which goes to the Shinanju Stein, which converts to the Shinanju, which converts over to, that's how they make Unicorn Gundam. So that's the progression. So that's really why uh, New Gundam was so important, and he's kind of the daddy of all the Gundams. That's what they call him. So this is an overview. Uh, it kind of gives him all together with all his stuff. You kind of see uh, some of the folding out features that you get uh, with the thrusters. You get all the extra thrusters on the back skirts. Uh, you get the little figurines, you get the pods for the funnels, 
how the funnels actually work. They open up the three versions of the beam tomahawk. So you got single version. They convert into one like beam tomahawk sword, and then you get the double bladed version. You can do the Star Wars thing there if you want. You also got your beam savers, and if you notice there, it kind of looks wavy. Well, that's because it is. It's got some really nice wave effect parts on there. Pretty awesome. Your shield, which is massive. And like new Gundams, you get some missiles on there as well. You got your beam rifle and your long rifle as well. So this is more of a sniper rifle. Uh, and this beam rifle kind of almost works as almost a shotgun too. In the, in, the, in the anime, it was a beam rifle. And then I think he even maybe shot some grenades out of it or some something like that it did have this this actually kind of wasn't just a beam rifle it actually had some some projectiles too so it's kind of cool and of course you get uh you're gonna have the led functionality here uh the head's gonna be open open but because this guy the cockpit is in the head and the leds are gonna be up there you can't you're not gonna have your your pilot sitting inside of it so what they did is they took the cockpit which is your psycho frame cockpit by the way both this guy and new Gundam had cycle frame cockpits. So you have your cycle frame cockpit, you have your pilot sitting inside, and the cool thing is you could actually take this pilot, put it in the hand of new Gundam, uh, as you saw in the anime when he is pushing back the Axis asteroid and Char is inside his cockpit, and Amuro Ray is holding the cockpit of Char and smashing him into, not trying to kill him, he just he grabs the cockpit, he's defeated Sazabi, and he's holding the cockpit of in his hand like this and he kind of pushes it into the asteroid to push back the excess asteroid so uh, you could probably do a cool diorama with this uh, so that, that's pretty cool I like that and also shows how the cockpit goes into the head there as well so typical manual you have 31 runners in this uh, including the little tiny runner so and, and the hands so 31 runners all together 30 if you don't count the hands this guy is flipping huge as I flip in the pages. And he's also got a transformation, just like New Gundam does. Not something super ridiculous and gaudy or kind of like... That's the only problem I have with, with uh, Unicorn Gundam is it seems a little gaudy and, and overly silly to me. Uh, of course, you got your water slide decals. You get pretty much nothing but water slide decals with this guy. I do not believe... Yep. Oh, sorry. You do have a few little uh, coloration stickers for your red. But I'm not going to use those, obviously. That's if you didn't want to paint it. And you got your water slide decals, your color chart. As you can see, there's from this, you can really see the differences in color. So that's your manual. We're going to put our manual off the side because you didn't come to look at just the manual. You want to kind of look at the whole kit. So this, like I said, is going to be a big video. So... I'm not going to focus in on this box. We're going to kind of focus down on the table. And we're going to start by taking everything out. And by the way, this is all... It should be all a new kit. There should not be anything reused from the previous version of Sazabi. I don't think. Now, if I come to one, I will let you know. But for me, this is the first time actually opening this box. I'm looking at everything, so... Wow. I really just need to get me some new cutters. I'm sorry, new knife. I should say knife blade. I just need another knife blade for doing my videos. Okay, so the first bag we open, and I wanted to open this because we've got our water slide decal. So I'm not going to actually pull out the water slide decals, but as you can see on here, you have the nice big Neo Zeon symbol. You have all your numbers here. And, and let's see here. You have, I think that, that, that might be the family, that might be the crest. So you got the different crests and stuff here. But you don't have that big, goofy looking golden. And I thought it was kind of goofy looking. I thought it looked really cartoonish uh, on the previous Master Grade. And, and it's the same symbol that you see on the 
Uh, it's the, the Neo Zeon symbol uh, that was uh, also on. Um, oh gosh, ah, uh, Nightingale as well. So it's the same big symbol. And the problem is, you see that, and you see this, and you think, oh, it's the same thing. But I, I kind of like this. This is separated. A lot of tiny, tiny little little decals. Lots of little little decals for everything. So a really nice decal sheet here um, that you get with this. So this is this is gonna be awesome. All water slide decals. Like I said, you have this this other sticker sheet, um, but for some coloration changes on the darker stuff, I believe. So on the dark stuff, there's a couple of spots that they want it to be slightly lighter. So you use these things, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna actually gonna metalize this entire kit, and so all the red, there's gonna be two shades. It's gonna be burnt, burnt, uh, burnt red. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do do a couple shades on this red. It's gonna look like it's metal, not painted. So that's my take. So there's your sticker sheet. I'm gonna throw it off to the side. So here you go. You've got uh, bottom of a shield, shield here. I believe um, the head that's the head folks that is massive that's part of the head it's the back part of the head uh, you got some leg pieces here I believe so, oh wow yep these are big pieces look at those parts can you can even show you the whole sprue the whole sprue it's so so huge there it is head pieces some skirt pieces right there they're pretty big pretty sizable Quite a big difference between high new Gundam and uh, master grade new Gundam version of Toki. So granted, this came out right before master grade new Gundam version of Toki, but let's see here. Yep. Okay, so your K runner, which has some um, shoulders. And this is a darker red, as you can see here. Some bits of foot. Cut off the side. We can get through these red parts first. I'm going to try to do it that way. I'm sorry if this video goes a little bit longer. But it's a big kit, folks. I kind of want to really look at everything, I think, in depth. Here, kind of give you an overview of things. You know, this is your kind of your back skirt. You have some crotch piece here and some chest pieces here. This back skirt is actually going to kind of separate and pull apart. So this is all one back skirt. And it's it's that's not even the whole armor for the back skirt. It's just the slightly redder, slightly very red and then you have this orange you have some orange pieces here okay so you have pretty much three colors of red you have this red the standard red you have this dark red by the way this is your cockpit right there that's your that's your cockpit but you're not going to actually have your your character inside of there inside this cockpit you'll get a separate cockpit for for that. I just want to tell you guys that. So you get that red, the dark burgundy red, and then what I'd almost call an orange. So that's the three main colors you're going to get. I don't know how much of that you get. Okay, let's see here. Oh, oh you actually get more! Woohoo! More orange. You can get a ton of the Oh, yeah, you do. Sorry. You would think for as big as this guy was, you'd get more red parts. But because they split it up between the three colors, it's actually less than what you would think. You actually get more frame parts than red parts in this kit. I'll put that back. There's another piece of this. This is the F 
I don't know why they put it in separate bags. I, I don't know why they put the F1 and F2 runners in separate bags. Why don't they put it together? But that's how they did it. So this is your F1 runner. This has got the fin piece for the top on it, it looks like. Yep. And right here, fin piece. Some really big parts there. That's your orange color. Well, I think that's it for the orange colors. Now, more burgundy. I'm sorry, I'm skipping over the one runner each in each one of these bags because I don't want to place them separately. So more burgundy parts, and this is this is for your um, a lower calf area kind of uh, leg armor. Pretty cool looking. Then you get the last of your red armor, and this is your standard red, not the dark burgundy, or the orange. Take some of that stuff off the table. Looks more armor parts, obviously. You get some of your funnels. So you have your six funnels right here. This is all funnel parts here. Because this is your back section. This is the part it opens up. And of course, you have the inner part of the funnel. But this is the main frame or the outer armor of the funnel, looks like. And then you get some arm parts. Uh, some more foot parts there. Okay, so going back to the bags that I opened up, you now you got some inner frame of the back skirt. And this absolutely looks unbelievable. You got some detail right here. You're gonna have some thrusters to connect into here, I believe. Uh, and some pieces that come to here. You got some more inner detail here. Well, let's see here. Not a lot of detail on the back sides. Uh, you do have a little bit here that you can paint a line. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Everything else looks pretty normal. Let's see here, same with this. Beam axe. Some uh, joint parts for the shoulder. You have the joint parts for the shoulder right there. Some skirt armor for your side skirts and stuff. And of course, parts of your thrusters, looks like. Okay. Oh man, they got all this stuff mixed up. Okay, so we're gonna look at a couple of, uh, here's what make this guy a little different than previous kits. And in some ways, it's kind of like, think of this as the psycho frame that you had in the new Gundam. Okay, so you're gonna get two runners of this stuff. And this is your silver inner armor that kind of breaks up the color. It kind of goes over, you have your inner frame, and then you pop couple of these pieces over it and it gives it a some extra de added detail so you got some little extra detail in here some little detail in here some lines some detail here the only thing is you can tell it's plasticky it's not it's not a it's not a coated no detail on the other underside but this is for the funnels right here these guys are for the funnels this is for the shoulder Mostly shoulder stuff, skirt stuff, things like that. So you got that. I'll put that right there. Put this side. Of course, you got more shoulder joint. Another shoulder joint right here. And this is very similar to what you see in New Gundam, except it's a little bit bigger. Not a lot, but a little bit. This is made to, to take a slightly bigger arm than New Gundam had. So just a little bit bigger, a little bit more weight. Looks like you got a, got a hip joint. Whatever that is. Okay. So we got that piece. And then up this other one. We have the same thing with the silver. But this silver one looks a little bit bigger. It's just typical with your like when you have your like your A1 and A2. So this is your A1 runner. And you have a few extra pieces in here that you didn't have in this guy. You still have your, yep, so you have your back skirt, some of your back skirt pieces, some of your skirt pieces that you didn't have in the other one, but you still have your arm and, 
and your shoulders and or your shoulders sorry but you have a few extra pieces here so it's piling up folks right here you got some more oh, there you go more inner frame parts you have the parts here for some tubing these pieces are for the side where you see the yellow it's not one solid piece you have but these aren't flexible either these are plastic you snap what you do is you put the oh look at these next you put the yellow pieces on here and those are going to actually slip around here those link rings they're going to actually kind of lock into place but they're going to look separated so you're going to kind of get a really nice effect but you don't have to worry about wire or having wire bent because this is just going to kind of snap in and be solid so you got some back inner frame chest inner frame this is all your chest this is mostly your chest pieces and some head inner frame there as well a little bit I think I think that's part of your head we'll see when we build it I'm trying to split this up so I go through frame parts other parts first. I should say, I get the outer armor first. Sorry about that, folks. I cut that real quick and then I turned off the phone. You heard that beeping. That's the only problem about it being during the middle of the day is you get your 1 800 phone service. Please sign up for our 1 800 phone service. Oh. Okay, so more frame parts. You start to get into some of your feet parts. Um, ball joints for like, oh, uh, that hip joints. So this is going to be for your feet right here. Some calf pieces. Some more feet pieces. Uh, there. Oh, let's see here. Yep. Oh, this this holds the the funnels. It's the the backpack inner frame. So a couple of these pieces might be for the backpack. I'm trying to see how high I can stack this plastic. Okay, it looks like we got a couple more bags of inner frames. We have some black inner frame on this guy. Tearing these bags really bad. I don't want to tear them. I want to keep them as whole as possible. So here is polycaps. This is the biggest runner of polycaps I have seen. I'm, I'm not seeing that I haven't seen. I've seen more polycaps in a, a kit, but this is huge. And this is a big guy, so he's got to have some big polycaps. Kind of like a new gun. A new gun had some big polycaps too, but the runner wasn't this massive. This thing is massive. This is a massive runner of polycaps. What was the thing? A 2000. So, I believe this is from the old Master Grade. Uh, now, I don't know if this was made for the old Master Grade Sazabi, because I don't remember when that was built or manufactured, but I believe they had this runner in the old Sazabi. So, that's interesting. It's old big polycap runner. I'm going to kind of put that there. You have your cockpit. It's your clear cockpit with some visor stuff, mono eye type of thing. Um, this guy is, is LED stuff so we can light up, all that kind of stuff. Head pieces. But your cockpit that will stay outside. Uh, these are, by the way, these may look familiar to you. Everybody's like, ooh, look, it's Master Grade New Gundam and High New Gundam's hands. Well, sort of. And Shinanji Stein hands. So, yes, these are the same type of hands that was in those, that guy. Except these are MP2s. If you looked at High New Gundam and New Gundams, they were MP1s. Reason is these are slightly larger hands and they kind of have to be because 
Sosby's a bigger dude. And he's it's not just that he's taller, I mean, because he's not much taller, it's just he's bulkier. So you gotta have bulkier hands. He's got bulkier weapons as well. Uh, New Gundam can hold his weapons really well. Of course, the awesome thing about these hands, if you notice right here, kind of point it out. That piece right there, that piece. Once that's cut, that will rotate in there, and that's your your pin because this is a double peg system. Okay, so these are individually articulated hands. These are like perfect grade hands, except slightly smaller. This is a big set of hands, folks. Big set of hands. Pretty awesome. Well, I'm happy with those. I'm glad they upgraded those, which we knew about. Your yellow parts. So you got some vents and a lot of thrusters. Lots and lots of thrusters, folks. Thrusters everywhere. We're going to put these up here. Like I said, we're trying to add to the pile. We're going to try to see how tall we can get this pile. Oh, more thrusters. More thrusters. Most of the yellow parts are all thrusters. So. Lots of them. Lots of them. Lots of them. I'm trying to see if there's under gates on this, some of this stuff. Thrusters, just pretty much all thrusters. So two B1 and P2 are thrusters. Now we start to get into some of the black parts, the dark, super dark parts. So we do have some frame parts on here. Some chest parts here. Um, more parts here. Of course we have our gun. This is a huge, huge and that's just, that's not even the long gun, folks. That is, look at that handle. Look how big that handle is. That is the handle for the beam gun. See that groove in there? That's a lot bigger than high, our new Gundams or high new Gundams guns are. Look at that sucker. That sucker is massive. See that? This is a big, big gun. It's the top part. This ammo clip right there. Big, big sucker. Oh, the Leaning Tower of Sprues. Oh, I forgot. We have. We do have some more frame parts. Sorry about that. Well, you know what? Since we're already on the dark part, talking about weapon parts. So this piece here, if you notice, is about the size of a normal shield, and that's just. Folks, that's not even the shield. That's just half of the shield. That's, well, that's just the black outer part that goes on there for looks. You've got your tanks here. You got your the rest of your tanks here. You've got your tank parts here. So you got two tanks. They're going to be pretty decent length. They're not going to be as long as uh, version... Katoki um, Unicorn Gundam full armor. But they're pretty sizable. Oh. Look at this, folks. Oh, look at those sprues. Look at those sprues. Here's your shield, folks. This is your shield. So your shield is broken up into parts. It's multiple parts. Kind of like new guns is. Except he's on his own. Look at that. That is the shield. Now you have some red pieces here that's going to go here. You got that red piece that I showed you. And then you're going to have the black piece that goes in the center. And then some more red parts. Okay. But that is a flipping huge shield. It's on its own. In fact, that's the size of an action base. Look. I could probably use this as an action base. Look at that thing. Yeah, we'll take we'll take this. Snap that on. That's Sazabi's like it's a buckler for Sazabi. So that's a pretty big shield. That's that's massive. <gasps> that stands as tall. Ah, it's gonna fall over. It's falling over, folks. It ain't gonna stand up. 
But that's a, that's the size of, wow, that's huge. That's the size of, that's the size of crossbow venom. Okay, here's your long rifle, okay, and this isn't even the whole long rifle, look at that. That is your long rifle, and that's not even with the stock on it. So, this guy is going to be about to here, it's the size of a normal handgun, lengthwise, this thing is massive. It's a big, big, big gun. But that's your sniper rifle type of thing, I guess you could call it. And our last bag, folks. Last bag of the day for this video. Ooh. Hate to say it a long video, but when you look at any of the other unboxings or other reviews, even, uh, Hobby Link Japan, it was half hour, or 45 minute video, sorry. So this is the effect parts, and this is what I really like. So you get these nice beam axe parts, which are absolutely gorgeous, um, I think. And then this is what I think is even better, is look at that beam saber. It's got those nice details at the bottom. Like flame type things, and it's jagged. It's not just straight. So like New Gundam, New Gundam had an interesting beam saber that was curved. Well, Sosity has an interesting beam saber. You got to. And he's got two of them. So beam effect parts. And of course, lower inner frame. So you got more feet and you got the legs. This is all your leg inner frame parts. Big pistons. Look at those pistons. See the pistons? Like New Gundam had pistons, but nothing that size. That's for the feet, I think. Those are huge. Yep, those are for the feet. So, nice detail on this guy. I think New Gundam has a little bit more detail on some certain parts than this guy does. He's just he's so massive. So, New Gundam looks like he has a little bit more detail uh, than Sazabi does. But, there's a lot of nice detail on this inner frame. Uh, lots of pistons and stuff on this guy. He's 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 just big. It's reminiscent of a perfect grade in some ways. So, so folks, that is it for Sazabi. Sazabi, the big boy. He is, and he is. He's the big boy on the street now. Uh, there's been new Gundams out. Newer Gundams. You got high new Gundam. You got, uh, well, you got a, a bunch of new master grades. A couple of new master grades, I should say. Uh, I mean, we just did a video on Kshatriya Repair. That's a new Gundam. That's actually newer than this guy. Let's see, I don't even know how to put this guy in here. Oh, wow. Like, really, folks? I mean, look at this. Look, look at this box. This is This is absurd. This is what I gotta deal with. This is what I gotta contend with. So. Put some of this stuff in sideways. Yeah, actually I can. Oh, ho, ho. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this 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 is why this box is so huge. You just have to do this. Like this. Put everything back in sideways. Don't try to put it in a long way. So you're gonna, you know, we're gonna, nothing's gonna fit. That guy's gonna have to go. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, folks. Or Tetris. <sighs> Put those guys in. There's just so many parts to this 
guy is absurd. In fact, who knows if he's going to even go back boxing and go back together. Wow. Wow, folks. Might not get the top closed on this guy. So, that's pretty much it for me today, folks. Um, I have been doing a lot of unboxings like crazy. I've had not had a chance to... I've been building a little bit. I've been doing a lot of things recently. So... Fuglies. I don't know if this is going to close. It will close. It's just probably going to go down all the way. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker than when I started. It's riding up in the side. Okay. No big deal. So that's Master Grade Sazabi for you folks. A lot there. A lot to do there. I don't... What do you think? You think that stand will hold them when we're done? Yeah, I think that stand will hold them when we're done. I'm just joking, folks. We're not going to use that stand for Master Grade Sazabi. I don't know if I'm going to order a stand. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll wait and see, because there's a lot of work on this guy. I have a lot of work in front of me. I've unboxed three, three for you. The last three, three videos have been unboxing videos, including this one, and uh, of course one build video for this the action bases. But this is going to be a fun build, folks. Like I said, my plan is to do metalize, since I've already gotten the metalizer. The alkali, so we're going to. I got some buff and non buff we're gonna do, and uh, I might get a couple more colors after actually looking and taking everything apart. It looks like I'm gonna need about two more colors that I'm gonna use for this build. So I'll be back sometime once we start, and I'm gonna actually show you what I'm gonna use. I don't know if I'm gonna do actually some any work in progresses on this build because he's so massive and I might end up building him in conjunction with some other guys but I will show you finished product ultimately when we get it done and this folks I hate to say it this thing might take me a year to do who knows we will see I got a lot of kits to do as you can see down here we got Kshatriya we got Justice Gundam Man, I still I still have Strike Freedom Gundam to do. We got 3.0 to work on. We have we've already started working on on a real grade uh, Strike Freedom Gundam, but we got to finish them up. And uh, we have let's see what else what else do I have? Red Frame Astray to work on. And we have, what else? Oh, what else is besides Red Frame Astray? Hmm. And I don't even remember. I'm forgetting what I got to work on. Oh, <laughs> High New Gundam. High New. I have High New to build yet. So, I, we have a lot. We have High New. Version Katoki. So right now we have two version Katokis to work on, two real grades to, to work on, a random two two master grades, normal master grades, and two and sorry one high grade. Folks, that's a bunch, a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully we'll get it all done. If not before I move, we'll get it done once I move. And. Uh, Hopefully show you the results. So this is Skagglybone signing out. Remember to subscribe, to give us a thumbs up, give us a big thumbs up on this video. Give us a like, give me some ideas if you got some ideas, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.